Hey guys, what's up? This is Val. Welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a motion blur effect inside Dash Studio. Now, motion blur is not available natively inside Dash Studio. So we're going to use a specific code trick. And there's a lot of ways of achieving motion blur. You can render an image inside Dash Studio and add motion blur in, in, in post work using Photoshop. I'm going to cover that in a different video. But today I'm going to show you how to create that effect right inside Dash Studio with a little bit of help of Photoshop, but that's just a small adjustment we need to do. So, this is our scene. We got a speeding car going through this small town and or village, and we want to have a sense of motion, right? So, a cool trick you can do is to move the set over time, like an animation. And I'm going to just render out 10 frames and instead of moving the camera and the car I'm gonna move the set all right so now click on the set by the way when loading all the items like this one I have removed the sky dome so there is a sky component in the set which is removed uh, or else the Sun will not shine through so I'm gonna click on the main object up here and move it slightly I'm gonna just turn off the preview and add a light so I can see what's going on and pretty much I'm gonna just click on the main item here and move it slightly backwards um, like so all right cool that will be our first frame and then at the very end I want to move it forward to somewhere around here now there is an issue with this method and that is uh, when you render out a few frames there's gonna be like a you know specific especially if you have items close to the camera they might move so rapidly that it will create some kind of like a visible edge between all of them so you might need to either move slowly uh, with the camera or have more of these frames. Today I'm just going to render out 10 so you can see the, the effect. Now a very important thing before rendering is that on that building or the village prop, let me just move my windows here so I can get this a little bit higher up, on um, this one here, um, we have an initial initial frame here starting and ending now the way Dash studio works is that by default it uses something called tcb which is like a slow down and an acceleration of frames so it will have very little motion in the start then we'll move as much as possible here in the middle and then we'll slow down at the end we don't want that for this effect right we want static motion so i'm going to select the first frame and at the bottom here there's a drop down menu you won't see it, it's outside the screen, but just click here. You gotta have this window very large. So you can see this button here, click there and select linear. Then I'm gonna go to the end frame and do the same thing, select linear. Now I have full motion throughout the entire animation with equal uh, progression uh, throughout each of the frames, all right? And pretty much we are done. I'm just gonna set it to render. I want to render a uh, let's see, sequence, so I'm just going to set it to render with um, samples. I'm going to use max 200. We don't need full quality here. Running quality one, which is good. I'm going to set it here to render a sequence. Zero to nine, use JPEG. Uh, I'm just going to select my folder. There we go, and I'm going to click on render. Now, an image file I need, of course, car. Let's just say motion and JPEG. All right, so I'm just going to render. And while it's rendering, I'm simply going to just uh, pause the video and I'm going to see you in Photoshop in a sec. All right, so I've loaded all 10 images into Photoshop and just want to blend them together and we are done. 
So the way there are two ways virtually to blend these together. One is to just add them, stack them on top of each other and blend them using screen with equal intensity. And the other is using a different method where we just uh, blend them in a different way and for different opacity levels for each and one of them. I'll show you both methods right now. So I'm going to start off by creating a new image which is going to be the same size as my render and I want it to be black. So I'm going to just stack all of these on top of that black uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, I think I've missed number zero here, did I? Yeah, I'm not sure I added that one. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm missing number zero. Where is it? Let me load it. For some reason, I'm not seeing that. Let me load it here. All right. There we go. Cool. All right. So we got our 10 layers here. And virtually what we want to do is use screen on one of them, each one of them, and use opacity 10. Okay. So screen, opacity 10. 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 And two more screen opacity 10 and at the bottom we got screen and opacity 10 so we are using now all of these images with a lower opacity and we are stacking them on top of each other uh, to create this effect and the thing is it looks pretty cool and realistic and as i said there's going to be an issue with um, the speed right because we have we moved them quite a bit and we had only 10 images which means we're gonna see an effect on all of these right and the thing you can do now is to simply combine these just control e them all uh, into a single image and i'm just gonna adjust brightness here a little bit so let's do here, exposure. So what I want to do is copy this image, duplicate the layer, and pretty much just create a blur effect, motion blur, that direction, and just enough distance so that it blends these together. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, somewhere around here, right? Seven, eight, or something like that. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to use Gaussian blur. Just blur the entire image until you get uh, that effect fixed. And what you wanna do now, I'm gonna use motion blur for this. So once you this, once this is applied, you want to carve out the car. It's going to, you don't want to blur the car, right? So just go to uh, black paintbrush and just simply paint away the car. If you want that car to be a little bit more. Sharp. Now, finally, what you can do here is to add rotational blur to the wheels. Wheels are rotating in a different manner. So that 
is achieved here you got radial blur and you want to do spin of course best and just apply a little bit 10 I think is pretty good maybe do a little bit more let's do blur radial you don't want to do too much I think between 10 and 20 is pretty good and let me just disable this my gosh there we go and do the same thing here alrighty and go for blur radial there we go so the other way of stacking these is to not use the screen um, it should not use the screen option but instead use a specific uh, way of blending which is that you use the first one at full the second one which is number one you stack it on top and you lower that to half and for each one of these you now need to lower it half and half and half again so number two you would go here and lower to 25 all right the number three you will lower to 12 uh, 12 and a half let's do just 12 and this one you will lower to and again and again and again right you will end up being like six and this is gonna be like very difficult to get properly done with um, that many images but this is just another way of stacking them together is to just use a you know descending amount of opacity on each and one of them so guys and just to end this video i'm going to also show you that you can actually load all of your you know images and renders and automatically add them to layers inside photoshop and do that here on file scripts load files into stack browse then select all click on OK and click on OK. This will automatically stack these images onto layers. Now you're lacking the bottom layer. So ideally you want to just create new layer and put it at the bottom and make it black, right? So you can use the screen option I showed you earlier. So guys, that's all for, for, for today. Just want to do a quick video and show you how this is done. I'm going to come back and show you more using Photoshop only options in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you soon again.